Hello everyone, I'm Food for Dogs and today I'm doing a much needed update. Um, as you can see from the big red box here, I have finally taken the big step after two and a half years of the switch being on the market. Uh, I went and got the um, slightly updated model which I will refer to as Mark II or version 2. Um, so uh, that's the switch as you probably know it looks no different to the original model. Um, I haven't done much with it yet. Um, I've only got a few games um, so I just wanted to introduce you to the fact that I I'm now on the Switch landscape and I will be covering the odd Switch game in between. Um, the PlayStation continues to be my number one platform and I will say that I would say that probably won't change for a while. Um, but who knows what the future holds? Both Sony and Nintendo are moving in a certain direction. It's an interesting time uh, to to follow what's going on in the gaming industry. We'll see how it goes. In the meantime, I'm happy with my PS4 and my Vitas and now um, the Switch. I have um, so far only got three physical games and downloaded um, a couple of uh, retro games um, digitally. So I'll take that out of the way. And I'll introduce you quickly to what I have. Um, the number one franchise for many, many years for me has always been Fire Emblem. So I obviously had to get the the new Fire Emblem Three Houses um, went for the limited edition and, and it is quite beautiful. Um, it comes with a little um, a, a little steel book for, for the game uh, and a beautiful art book. So I'll just see if I can get that out. It's quite hefty. So I'll just show you the... Um, The um, steel book. And that is very subtle artwork, um, very beautifully done. And it comes with a um, soundtrack. Um, and the main thing is the, um, the big, heavy art book which is of course beautifully done. So for Fire Emblem fans, um, this is a real treat. And I'll leave it at that for the moment. Um, the other game I have, and this is really uh, one of those strokes of good fortune um, that just happen out of the blue once in a while and I got Octopath Traveler the Wayfarers edition. Now this is not a new copy, this is a copy that my good friend Ray in the United States uh, said he would pass on to me because he's finished with the game. And I thought that was an extraordinary generous gesture. Um, and when it arrived, I was just blown away because it really is a lovely, lovely addition. And he knew that I'd been Octopath Traveler is the is the the one game when it came out that I said that really is a game that I would buy the Switch for. Uh, I didn't at the time because I thought it was a bit funny to buy a console for just one game. Uh, the other game I'm waiting for, of course, I'm a big fan of the Shin Megami Tensei franchise. 
And as some of you will be aware who follow the news on that, we haven't had any news in a long time. And it, that is very, not only disappointing, but very worrying. And I really, really do hope, Nintendo, could we please have some Shin Megami Tensei five news by Christmas. That really is my wish for Christmas. Back to Octopath Traveler. I'll just show you the inside. It's it's a little um I'll just put the switch over here. It's a little um it's got a little pull out pop up pop up book of various scenes. So um I think that's just delightful, you know. That's just so, so wonderful. Those of you who have played the game will recognise these scenes. So, so that is just, um, that's just lovely. And inside the box um, are the various items. The game, of course, a soundtrack... A coin you see here, a replica coin, and a lovely little cloth map. Um, so I'm I'm just absolutely delighted with it, and I'm already trying to figure out when will be a really good time to set aside, you know, many quiet hours uh, for playing Octopath. So that's that one. And the third physical game I got was on a whim. It was a whim. Um, Access Games in the United States were doing a, a store sale, as they, I think they do like at least once a year. Uh, and they were having a few items I wanted, and I thought, well, uh, why not? Um, I did want Little Dragon's Cafe, so Poodle Pan and I can play it together, hopefully. And come on, it's dragons. You know, I love dragons. So um, I'm aware that there are some technical issues with the game. Uh, I've seen the reviews. Um, okay, you know, sometimes we take the the bad with the good. That's how it, that's how it goes. So I'll do a very quick impromptu unboxing here. And well, I'll just rip off this cellophane and we'll have a quick look inside. There we are. And we've opened the box. And here is one dragon. One rather large plush dragon. Let me just see if I can um, quickly get into the, um, into the bag. Yes. at him he's got very very stubby little wings and yellow horns and he is very soft I'd have to say he's a true plushie yes hello and he is rather cute so what else do we have in the box um uh, some character cards and of course the game itself. Oh, and a soundtrack, I think. That's it. And I don't know if you can see this, but they've done the inside of the box really nicely. The little divider there that holds the game and the soundtrack and the cards. They've done an illustration on that. Sort of tucked away. You could almost miss it, but it's a little, that's a lovely little touch. Um, I like those sorts of things. You know, they put some thought into it and some love into it. 
and that's important. And the, um, the front here is actually embossed, so it stands out really nicely. So I think Poodle Pa, who's the cameraman, of course, as always, uh, we will pop that cartridge in a bit later and we'll have a look at how things are at Little Dragon's Cafe. Okay, so that was most of my news really on the switch front. I'm, I have to admit, I'm still getting used to it. I'm so used to PlayStation. Uh, you know, you can do things in your sleep once you're used to a console. And although I've had, of course, um, uh, 3D, various 3DSs, um, which I've always been comfortable with, the switch, <coughs> excuse me, is quite different. And I'm still sort of feeling my way, you know. So I don't really want to um, comment much more at this stage. Um, that wouldn't be fair. Um, I will I will do a video once I've got my impressions and my thoughts about the switch sorted and some well-founded, um, you know, a coverage to share with you. And I'll do it then um, because it is an important step, the switch being a hybrid. So we're talking sort of console handheld uh, it's a very interesting direction the only thing i can say at this stage is that i was a bit concerned about the weight and size of it in my hands because don't fall over little one um because i have fairly small hands and I was a bit worried in case I would find it awkward to hold and to play with it. Uh, but actually, I haven't. Okay, I haven't played much yet, but I haven't had any problem. Uh, I haven't even had problems with the buttons here, which is not a proper D-pad. But then I don't play um, games that really, like fighting games that really, really require D-pad. Um, or difficult platformers. It's not something I play a lot, so uh, it's it's working perfectly fine for me. But um, the only thing I can say is you do need a screen protector on it. Put one on straight away. Um, the, the dock is not well designed. Uh, at least mine, is, that's all I can say, you know. So without a screen protector, you will... You might get some scratching, which would be really, really annoying. OK, that's all about the switch at this stage. Um, I have, of course, got uh, a few more things that have been slowly accumulating on the PlayStation 4 side. I won't talk much about that today because I'll probably do individual videos about certain games. So I'm playing Star at the moment and that's a beautiful game that I do need to talk about once I finished it. I think it comes with a yes the launch edition came uh, with a really a very nice um, concept art book so um, and information in it so it's small but it's really nice so that that was one thing I had wanted from the um, from the launch edition um, so that's that one um, this box here this rather small compact box with a beautiful design on the front is the latest Utawara Rumono and I won't talk about it today because I'm a big fan of the franchise um, I've got the anime I've got uh, several of the other games I want to do a separate video in depth just about Utawara Rumono at some stage in the future. Comes with a beautiful little fan. Um, so, so that's that one. 
I only just the other day picked up my day one edition of Code Vein, uh, which comes with a very nice steel book. So um, that that will be interesting. It's obviously quite a tough game in the um, sort of a bit in the Dark Souls uh, region of game or subgenre, whatever you want to call it. It seems to be now an established subgenre. Um, yeah, so that that's the steel book. Okay. And last but not least, there's another plushie. And that is the one for Catherine Full Body Edition. I, I won't be doing an unboxing on that because I have seen about 17,000 people on YouTube have done an unboxing of Catherine Full Body, so I don't need to add mine, but... Um, I do love the plushie that comes with it. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's really soft. It's got lovely detail around the horns, lovely soft snout, and it's got the most adorable polka dot pyjama bottoms. What is not to like? So, um, really looking forward to um, playing Catherine Full Body. This edition also comes with a beautiful steel book. Um, I do have the um, PS3 version of Catherine, the original, but only digitally, and I did play it a bit, but the puzzles are actually really tough, I'd have to say, and um, I think I got stuck or something, so I never finished the story, so I'm looking forward to this edition. Uh, it comes with a few quality of life enhancements let's put it like that so uh, hopefully I'll have an easier time getting through it um, but that is certainly one game I would say not to be missed if you love a combination of visual novel a puzzle a bit of mystery a bit of philosophy all mixed up and stirred together in a dazzling anime style um, then this is a game you definitely need to look into. Uh, that's it for today. Um, I could talk more and I have more games, but um, uh, we'll wait until um, another time. Um, I think that was enough for today. I, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, uh, let me know what you think, uh, how many of you have um, taken up a switch and I'll see you around keep well thank you for watching I'm food for dogs bye bye